Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. We will continue the text on sales and purchases. In the last training session, we discussed about the basic terms of tech seasons related to SAP. Today we will be doing the configuration steps where the steps of configuration are as on your screen Cal check calculation procedure assign country to the calculation procedure specify structure for tax jurisdiction code define tax jurisdiction define tax codes specify base amount create GL master for tax taxes define tax accounts and then assigning tax codes for non-taxable transactions and unit testing. Now moving ahead with one by one with the steps of configurations. Moving to the first check calculation procedure. In SAP, SAP itself provides the calculation procedure which is also known as the tax calculation performer by default for different countries. So we need to check in SAP that whether for our own country the calculation procedure are there by default or not. If it is there is good and in case it is not there we need to create one calculation procedure. So we'll move to the SAP screen and we'll check our calculation procedure whether it is in the SAP software itself or not. So moving to the SAP screen, the path is there from which you can reach it directly or even you have the options of going with the transaction code. So moving up with the path, first we'll be going to SPRO enter click on the IMG screen I'm just following the path moving to financial accounting new then moving to financial accounting global settings In this you can see there is an option of taxes on sales and purchases. This is the whole step which comprises the tax on sales and purchases topic. So moving over here you can expand this tab and then we can go to the basic settings. In basic settings you can see the first step is to check the calculation procedure. So moving to the calculation procedure you can expand you can execute it and you can see over here there are three different things sequence condition types and procedures so we are talking about calculation procedure so we'll be first going to check the procedure but before that we'll discuss what is this excess sequences is all about and what is condition type so X sequence is basically in this sub step we define the access sequence for determination price to consider as base value for various combinations of plant, customers and material. In simple terms access sequence is basically used in MM module which is material management where they look after how the taxes could be calculated on material from different plants. So that is a part of MM module. We'll leave that. Moving to the next, define condition type. In this step, we create different type of input text and output taxes settings, which is also known as a steps. Now, the system defines condition types when you define a text code. The condition type such as input or output text specifies the base amount on which 
the tax is calculated. So at which value the tax will be calculated, whether it will be the net base amount or a gross base amount depends on this condition type which has to be taken care and this condition type is later on is assigned with the account key that we'll see in a while that is used for posting the tax in a GL account. So now we need to check the calculation procedure. We'll go to this define procedure. In this activity, we define steps for determining determination of tax from base amount and various dependencies. So what we did is we double clicked on this define procedure and it will take you to your procedures. So the procedures over here reflecting on this screen to you is basically the calculation procedure. You can see there are different calculation procedures for different countries like Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Switzerland, Chile, China. In the same way you will find for United States as well. So they are each and every different countries for which different calculation procedures is provided as per the country to country by SCP in default. So we'll be taking up for the United States we have to search where is United States jurisdiction in it. So we can see that there are taxes, there are provisions for calculation procedures defined for United States as well and if you remember we talked about USJ and USX. USX is for external system from external software comes into SAP. USJ is the calculation which is done within the SAP system. So we'll be taking this USJ as our own calculation procedure. In case you don't want to take this, you want to create your own, it is recommended to select this from here and copy your own calculation procedure as copy as from this on the screen. So if I click on the copy as I can go to this and I can create my own I can give it a new text procedure name. What I can give it as is suppose I give it USATAX text. So this will be now applicable for our country as the calculation procedure. Now I have copied it so I have to to save I have to first enter on the keyboard so that all the data at the background can be copied to this particular procedure. So I entered and the screen come up for copying all. So we'll click on the copy all tab. There are 22 different dependent entries are copied. Okay, so our calculation procedure is taken over here and I can save it over in this. So this calculation procedure created will be saved in this request. Continue. So my calculation procedure is created And now I can select this and I can see what are the steps in it. So I can select this from over here and then I can go to this control data. Now I clicked on the control data and you can see a different screen comes up on your screen where there are steps maintained on the very first column. These steps are very very important and this is what makes the taxation calculation possible in SAP. So one there is a base amount and on the basis of this base amount only 
all the taxes are calculated on different condition types you can see the third tab this is the condition type in this there are different condition types on which taxes are calculated and each condition type is assigned to an account key this account key is very important because from this account key only we are able to determine the GL account for the tax means the GL or the ledger account on which the tax amount will get posted so we'll be moving next the calculation procedure determines the amount on which the individual condition types are calculated this can be the base amount or a subtotal incoming acquisition tax so that is what the calculation procedure we have created once now we'll be putting we'll save it and we'll move to the next going back again back you can cross this to close this tab so this is what the ca check calculation procedure is I could have used the text USX sorry USJ but neither using the same I created my own calculation procedure that is what the first step of configuration is now this conf the calculation procedure which I just created USA text will be applicable for my country United States of America for all the company codes in my particular client moving to the next configuration step is to assign the country to the calculation procedure so I just created the calculation procedure USA tax but how the system will decide that this USA tax will be applicable for which country so for this we assign the calculation procedure created in the earlier step to the country and the country is the country of the company code so we'll move to the next the path is again mentioned to you and even for short form you can directly reach with the transaction code which is also known as short form as T code so we'll see in the screen that very next step after check calculation procedure is assign country to calculation procedure now executing this it will take you to this screen in this you can find your own country over here this is our country short form you can find your own country either by scrolling down this tab or if you know you can go to this position suppose United States I search it with US enter so you got it United States and the text procedure already assigned in this case is text USX but now I just created my own and I want to use that so I need to change it over here so what I created I can search that or again else I can directly assign it USA text and you can save it that means your text procedure get assigned to your country save it so we are done with the second step we assign the calculation procedure to the country that is the United States now moving to the third tab third step of configuration is to specify the structure for tax jurisdiction code moving to this particular setting hmm? so tax jurisdiction code tax jurisdiction codes represent the different taxing authorities to which you submit the payments you can have up to four levels representing 
state, country, city and others in your tax jurisdiction structure. As if you move to the screen in SAP and can have a look, in this you can see that there is an option of define jurisdiction. So as of the path, what you have to do is you to first specify the jurisdiction. So before that, we'll go to this first specify a structure for text jurisdiction. So moving to this screen, you can see that there is a schema. Schema basically is the calculation procedure which we just created. So our calculation procedure is not there as of now. We need to create over here. Basically, this is about this the structure, the, the jurisdiction uh, logic you have to give how it will be created. So it, you can see, have a look in the screen that the first column in this relates to the state. The second column relates to the country. Third column relates to the city. And the last, that is the fourth column, represents to others. Normally, the text jurisdiction structure is set up with three levels. That is the first three, state, country and city. Other is for a spatial circumstances. So we will now set up our own jurisdiction structure. So to do that, we will first move to so we create our own jurisdiction code for which we will be going to this new entries and we select our own schema. So we will be selecting our own calculation procedure over here. You can see we have created USA text. We will select this as double click. So this will be the schema that is the scheme how your jurisdiction structure will be created. So this is the United States tax. Jurisdiction. Uh -huh. So in this, the first column represents the state. Suppose I want the states should have a two digit. So let's see. We will be entering the character length for the first level of hierarchy within the text jurisdiction code. And suppose I take it as the first as the state. So I take the state as two. The second character length I will be taking as Oh, I take it as 3 for USA I will be putting USA next will be Four. and I am not taking the fourth one fourth column that is others as I don't think I would be needing that so this is what I, I assigned over here in it so now will be we have cre assigned this uh, schema where the text jurisdictions code will be created as per the characters assigned as per state country and cities to it. We will save this configuration. So once this configuration is saved, now that we have determined our text determination procedure, text jurisdiction code structure, we will be determining the text jurisdiction code. 
so what this we have done as of now on the screen is the structure for text jurisdiction and code on the basis of this structure that is two digit to the state two character to the state three character to the country and four character to the city have been defined on the basis of this structure only all the different cities in united states will be given a text jurisdiction code so we'll save it and we'll move back so let's move to the next configuration step that is defining text jurisdictions where the path is defined to you over here and the transaction code is obcp now moving up to the sap screen as already discussed text jurisdictions codes represent taxing authorities the taxing authorities could be many in a particular country the taxes could be collected as per the state as per the city wise or as per the central government in certain countries so accordingly you can define your own tax jurisdiction as we already created a structure in the last step where we defined that the tax jurisdiction code which will be created will have at least two character as a state three character as a country and four character to represent the city so on the basis of that nomenclature we will be creating the tax jurisdiction over here so let's go and click on execute the button the tax jurisdiction tab and see how it can work so you can see a pop up screen is generated over here you need to select your schema schema is nothing but the same tax procedure which we defined so our procedure was usa tax so double click on it it's selected and then you can proceed for continue now you can see your costing sheet basically is that all your taxes will be collected under this particular calculation procedure and that is why it is called the costing sheet now in this there is no tax jurisdiction as of now because we are creating for the first time so if as you want as per your requirement different taxing authorities you can create your different tax jurisdictions so let's move to create our own tax jurisdictions with the new entries i clicked on the new entry now i need to fill a code over here and the code must be followed as per the structure defined the structure says two character for a state to so suppose in this case i am defining the taxing authorities as a city in texas so the city is austin the state is texas and country is united states of america so the first two character of a state so for a state i am taking t x for country i am taking u s a and for city i will be taking the four character that is a u s t for austin so my code will be t x u s a a u s t and over here you can put the description austin texas so this is how the same way you have to define your own tax jurisdiction code mind it the description cannot be more than 50 characters the maximum limit is 50 character which can have alpha numerics in it now moving over here there are two tabs at the end one is din then and another is is txn din then this basically is to set this indicator if you want sorry if you don't want the tax amount to be included in the base amount so if you don't want the tax amount to be included in the base amount so din then if you select then you do not want tax amounts included in the base amount used for calculating the cash discounts whereas tx and that is the last column is an indicator if you want for 
cash discount amount deducted from the base amount so if you want the tax to be calculated on the base amount minus the cash discount you have to select these tab so this is how you would be configuring this and now you can save so that your tax jurisdiction code will be created so I saved this and the configuration got saved in the request now that we have determined our tax determination procedure tax jurisdiction code structure and tax jurisdiction codes we need to understand the functionality of tax codes in the system tax codes represents so tax code represents different types of taxes such as sales tax charged by the company sales tax charged to the company and use tax accrued by the company so while creating the tax code it is a two character code in this we define the tax code for a country and the tax procedure type of tax whether it will be a output tax or an input tax and we determine the tax rate for the condition type so as per the path let's move to define the tax code in the SAP screen so the path says we first need to go to financial accounting global setting then the taxes then calculation and then the defined tax so we are already at the tax on sales and uh, purchases so we'll go to this uh, then to calculate calculation and then to defining the tax over here so we'll execute this part as you execute you can see that uh, a new pop-up has came to you which is asking to enter the country so that we can configure for that particular country only so over here we'll be taking the country you can browse it for the, from the list of the countries uh, the system has accordingly for your own country so there are multiple com countries in it and our country right now is the United States so you can select this double click when selected you have to click on to the continue part so we have moved to the next screen so now in this particular screen what we would be doing is as you can see on the screen there are four different tax codes one is A5 which is description as sales tax charged by the company A0 as output tax exempt V8 as input tax charged to the company and V0 as input tax exempt so we'll be defining these output and input taxes in the system and will test how the transactions get charged with respect to the taxes so moving to the SAP screen first we'll be creating the A5 for 5% 5 sales tax so for the tax code A5 we need to fill the A5 as a tax code now the second thing is you need to fill the tax jurisdiction so for that if you don't remember or there when you when you configure the system in any client there could be number of taxing authorities so you need to go to the search tab and you will get the list of all the tax jurisdiction if you know the state country or city suppose I know the state it is Texas so Texas first two digit code is TX now I can go to this continue and it will show me all the text jurisdiction codes which are there in the system with the state so in the same way you can search for state to state you will get the list of text jurisdiction for that particular state and then you can decide which you have to select as a jurisdiction double click on it and the ju jurisdiction will be selected so I have selected the jurisdiction over here now you need to fill the value date or the valid from date 
so we need to fill the val valid date suppose I take the valid date from 0 1 11 or even you can take from 110 as well so it's up to you from when you want this text code to be effective in the system and the users can use this text code so once you have filled these detail now you have to press enter on the keyboard or you can enter with this tab over here on the top or as well so clicking the enter the next tab comes to you and it asks you the text code A5 and you need to fill the description over here so that anybody can understand what the text code is all about so I would be copying the same description from the presentation file over there so this is the present the description now the text type whether this is an input or the output so you need to go over here and need to select whether this is an input text or this will be an output text so I am selecting this as an output text because taxes on sales are basically output taxes so these are the two things which you are supposed to do and once you have done this you have to go to the next that is continue now as you continue you can see there is a list comes up in front of you which has their text types account key percentages jurisdiction and names so as we are doing for output that is on text on sales and sales relates to the accounts payable module will go down and will will assign the percentage over here so it is in front of AR that is account receivable there is only one particular field open where we can assign the percentage that is against the account key MW3 so over here you can define the percentage the system will calculate the text 4 and suppose I define the percentage as 5 so you can put it over as 5 and as you enter on the screen it will automatically pick the jurisdiction code and the name from the system internally so you can see the 5% rate has been defined and the jurisdiction code is over here and the name of that particular state and the city that is the taxing authority a name has been displayed to you so this is how you need to create your text codes once this is done you need to go to the save and you can save this setting and your text code will be defined now in the same way you will be defining the second text code that is A0 moving next A0 now if you want to put the text jurisdiction as same you can keep the same, the same jurisdiction code or you can have your own uh, different jurisdiction as well it varies from uh, the texting authority to authority and accordingly the jurisdiction will change for you so I am taking the same jurisdiction as of now enter again I will be filling the detail over here that is the description of the text code for understanding of others and over here you need to decide whether this text is an input text or an output text so I have selected the output text over here and then again OK so again we'll move to the same percentage over here and you can define as 0 so as you put 0 and you, you press the enter button on your screen or on your keyboard it will take the values internally so the jurisdiction and name has been selected then you can save it and your text code A0 has been defined which is a 0 percentage text because for certain transactions we still need to assign the text codes that is why we need to take uh, we need to define the text code over here now moving to the next is the input taxes so I will be defining V8 now V represents that the code that input so system decides V as input otherwise you can have any other code for your purpose for my convenience I am taking V8 and V0 so moving to the screen we will take first V8 I will be putting the same jurisdiction code and the validity as well enter and now again I have to put the description 
so I will be copying the description from this screen and will be pasted over here now this is an input text as you can see on the screen so I will move to this and will take the input over here double click and the input text will be selected and now you can go and you can mark the next that is the continue or you can press the enter it will take you to the next step so you don't need to fill these below things these are not required for you so enter again so it's again take you to the screen over here now in this case for input text we define v s 1 2 3 4 any of them for input texts so for input text i am defining the account key that is v s 3 so i have already defined what account key is all about account key basically decides which ledger this value which will be calculated will will go to so on the basis of that from the ledger we come to know how much taxes have been collected or have been charged and all so over here you can define your percentage that is 8 because this is 8 percent on input so I have taken 8 now as I will press the enter on the keyboard it will take the jurisdiction and the taxing authority of its own so as you can see so this is what you need to do and once this is done you have to save it so mind it you don't need to fill the text rate at two places you need to fill it only at one place that's it now we can go and we can save the screen and your text code v8 is ready created now we'll be preparing the last text code that is v0 for input text exempt so we'll be going to v0 we'll keep the text jurisdiction as same and the validity as well now we can define this and over here we need to take v as input text continue and in the same way over here v, vs3 will be taken up as input text where i will be defining the text rate as 0 and enter on the screen so this will take you uh, to create the text code v0 save the screen and your text code is prepared so if you want to see how many text codes have been prepared even you can go to this screen and it will show you the list of all the text codes defined in the system so earlier there were these text codes right now we created a5 a0 v0 v8 apart from this rest of the text codes are already defined in the system by default so moving back this is how you will be creating your text codes so in the same manner you can create your different text codes for different text jurisdictions you need to put the validity the valid from date and the different percentages of text will be calculated on this from over here prepared and will be done so now suppose in case there is already a defined text code and I need to go back and need to change certain things so that is also you can do suppose I am at V8 and I want to see what I have filled so in that case again you can select this and you can enter on the screen so it will take you only to the to this screen over here you can if you want you can change the percentage even later on in the future as well so this is how you will be defining your text codes which is very important for any organization because text code is something which keeps on changing from one year to the another as per the texting authorities now one another important question is as you already know that all the these configurations move from one client to the another client on the basis of the request number as you can see whenever you do the configuration a pop-up screen comes to you and we save all the customization in that particular screen but for creating creation of text codes it is slightly tricky transporting text rates can be very tricky process the text rates changes from 
uh, changes are not automatically recorded in the change requ request as we used to do normally so these these are not recorded automatically we need to create manual transport request so this transport request is very handy to understand how it can be done it is best to create your transport after all text rates for all the text codes have been maintained because text rate transports are very complicated and do not allow work as planned so to to hide out of that complications to uh, keep out yourself from that particular complicated process better is first create all the text codes define the text rates in it and later on for all those text codes can be taken up and a manual one particular transport request can be created and on the basis of that one request we can move that particular text codes and text rates from one client to the another client so by having a single transport you minimize the risk of incorrect data getting into the target system so to create your transport you need to follow the menu path so we can go back again us so over here you can see in this case you need to first go to the text code transport and then from over here you need to go to the export part mind it once you have created all the text codes you need to go to the screen over here okay back so it should be on the initial screen then you can go to this text code over here on the top you need to go to this transport and once you transport it now I want to take these four text codes which we defined from this particular system to one another system so we can export that so you have to click on to the export as you click on export there is a warning message export not possible due to text code being previously displayed okay so let's move how we can create it let's try again so you can see this particular warning message is coming to you the same process after processing through the warning message I just clicked on OK so once I have taken this you can see there is a prompt screen coming up but I don't want to record all these text code on this particular request so if you want a different request to be created for this you need to go to this create request so for every separate area we create different request so text code and you can put the date so that it easier to understand when this was prepared or the, this configuration was done so once you do this then you can click on to the OK part and your text codes will get now you can see this is screens are coming up when you created a new request so you need to select from out of these all texts text codes that which text codes you want to be taken from this particular client to the next client or you want to export which text codes you want to export so i would be exporting a5 which i have created a0 v8 and v0 so once you select these all You have picked all the text code by selecting them and the jurisdiction area you wish to transport. It was important to transport all 
means all these together so now we can go to the save screen and we can save this so once you did you can see over here a message is generated text code included in request number so and so so this is how you need to create manual request basically normal configurations is that whenever you do any configuration the configuration gets saved in a particular request which is an automate generated request but when you need to create a manual request that is to be created in this way so that is it how you would be creating the text code once you will move this particular tr or you can say the travel request which is coming over here this is termed as the request or the travel request once this is moved in a production environment production environment means the life system in which the organization work in after that all these text code get copied over there and these text codes can be used simply by the users or by the organizations there so this is how you would be creating the text code in sap system now moving next is specify base amount now what is this base amount is when we calculate tax suppose we want to calculate 5% or 10% or 8% on what base amount you want this to be calculated suppose there is an invoice amount of $100 you want the tax to be calculated as $100 or if there is any kind of a discount suppose there is a discount of 2% or there is a discount of 10% on $100 so the net amount comes out to be $90 so the business need to take a call or as per their business requirement or business scenarios they need to decide whether they will be calculating the taxes on the gross value or the net value so as per the taxing authorities they need to follow those rules so the the specified base amount is something which decides whether the tax to be calculated on the gross value or the net value so let's see where we do this configuration is on a screen so now we need to go to the path again so it is spro financial accounting new then we'll move to financial accounting global settings here there is tax on sales and purchases then we'll move to calculations and here you can see the specify base amount so we can click on to the specify base amount and you can see that my company code is over here now there is a there is a mark tick mark over uh, there is a last column which says tax base net net so if you click on this net it will start calculating the taxes on the net amount otherwise it will it will calculate on the gross value so what you want to take accordingly you can configure your system so i will not be marking this i will not be selecting as a net tax base but if you want you can even go and you can try that and how the changes comes up on the calculation you can check that so this is this is a particular optional part but you should know how uh, this gross and net calculation is done for tax so there is nothing in it moving up to the next create gl master for tax so as of now you have created number of masters gl masters by now in general ledger accounting then accounts payable accounts pay accounts receivables so in the same manner you will be creating certain gls over here but the gl descriptions and their purpose would be different so now we have created tax codes we have seen that there are two types of tax codes one is input tax and another is output tax so obviously the, when the value will flow the values will flow on a particular gl account which is known as the ledger account so we need to define the gl account for input and the output tax 
So you would be creating your own GL master account for input taxes and output taxes like as we can see in the screen. The transaction code is FS00. So you can already see that the, the GL is already created by my side but otherwise you can create your own gen, uh, this GL account for sales tax the GL account is already created 200002 where it has been taken in the liability head so when you will be creating your GL you must remember that the output tax is a liability because you collect the taxes on sales from the consumers and at the end you are liable to pay these taxes to the government that's why the sales tax account is a liability for you where you need to fill the short text and the long text when you move to the next tab that is the control account you need to mark all categories and you need to select the posting without tax allowed and you need to mark this line item display so that all your documents will have a display or a line items in it otherwise you will not find any line item and you cannot refer them later on if you have not marked the line item display moving next is create bank interest so in this you need to assign the filled status groups that will be G001 so this is how you'll be creating your sales tax account and once you fill all these details you can go and you can save this screen and your chill master will be defined same way you will be defining your input tax account as well as in the screen same way input tax is basically what you have paid on the purchases so whatever you have paid on, on the purchases is a part of your asset because whatever you have collected as sale tax and what you have paid as an input tax the net of those two are taken as an income tax sorry uh, are taken as a return as a re tax returns in in uh, normal accounts and finance so same way it works over here the input tax will be defined as an asset and then you will be filling the description to the GL next rest of things are as usual as it is in the sales tax account we'll be selecting the star for tax category we'll selecting the uh, posting without tax allowed we'll select the line item display as it was in the sales tax account and in the next tab you need to take the filled status group as G001 so in this way you will be creating your two GL account one is for output taxes and one is for input taxes now moving up to the next screen is defining the tax account so now over here what we do is we define define the GL account or we can say that we assign the GL account as we created sales tax account and the input tax account against the tax codes which we created because until you assign one tax code to the GL account the system will not be able to decide whether I have to take this A5 sales tax to sales tax ledger account or input ledger account so for understanding of the system we need to assign the tax codes with the GL account so over here we will be assigning the accounts to the respective tax codes so the transaction code is OB40 and you can see there's different transactions reflecting over here and most of them have their descriptions assigned so when we created A5, A0, V5 sorry V8 and V0 we defined the percentages against the transaction that is the account key the account key there is known as the transaction over here so over here in the screen we will be defining the GL account against those account keys which we assigned in the tax codes the same will be taken as a transaction over here on the screen so once first we go to so 
so moving over here you can see I have double clicked on MW3 and when I clicked it asked for the chart of account so once I have filled the chart of account 1000 then we'll continue and you can see the screen displays you two things one is the text code and the account so you need to assign your text code over here for sales tax and you need to assign your account that is the GL account in which your tax value will flow to so now moving to the tax code I have defined the tax code one is A5 and another is A0 and against that I will be defining the GL accounts I will go for searching the account because I don't remember what is the GL account number so I need to search that so moving away on the screen let's search where the sales tax account is so here it is you need to select it and the same GL account will come from there to the next line because I need my taxes to be flown to this particular GL account only so once you have assigned this to this now we can move and we can save the screen and your GL will be assigned so save and your GL is assigned over here and you can see it asks you that the customize so you can see that I have not went on the screen and created the manual request and all this pop-up always comes when you do configurations and when these pop-up come automatically that means an auto request is generated so I can click on to save so this configuration will get saved with this particular request in which we we create saved all the customization related to the text codes so continue now we have assigned this to this the next is assigning the next input taxes so for input taxes if you remember the account key was vs3 so we'll be assigning over here in the transaction vs3 and now we can double click on it and you can take us over here certain GL are already assigned so if you want you can delete them you can put the cursor on it and you can go to this delete so you need to put that cursor over here mind it only then only you can delete that particular row so go to this delete so you can see it has been deleted because I don't needed these text codes if you don't need you can delete it if you need you can let them as it is over there so now I am assigning the another text codes which created by me that is V8 and V0. Now I will be assigning the input text GL over here. So I need to search the GL account first with the search option. So let's move search the GL account. so there is the GL account over here input tax account you need to select this and the same GL account will be assigned to V0 as well so this is how we need to assign the tax code to the account ultimately so the assignment has been done with the GL and the request has been saved on so this is the final step for configuring, confer, configuring this particular processing key but still one thing is suggested to be done what is it let's see that is not compulsory but you should go for it is an optional one that is assigning the tax codes for non taxable transactions so what you will be doing in it is the SAP carries out some system movement that are not tax related but that affect the tax related accounts to allow proper processing of these movements we need to assign non taxable tax codes to each company code non taxable tax codes means the tax codes which have zero percentages assigned in it so that is why we create default 
text code which are known with zero percentages which are known as non-taxable text code as we created A0 and V0 where zero rate has been maintained and it ensures that no taxes will be calculated. So if you have a hundred dollars of invoice amount into the tax well tax percentages of zero is equal to zero. So the tax comes out to be very much zero. So we need to assign this tax code to the non-taxable settings so that the system doesn't gives error when you do any transaction where the zero percentage is there and the tax code is not assigned. So moving again to the configuration. We need to go to the posting over here. As you can see the path is there on the screen. You need to go to the posting and then to assign tax. So assign tax code for non-taxable transaction executing it. And over here you need to assign So clicking on this particular executing it and we find the this screen over here and you can search your company code with this position the company code is 1200 enter and you can see your entry and company code has been displayed on the top so over here you need to assign your input and the output non-taxable text code that was for input it was v0 and for output it was a0 so this is what you need to assign and then you can go and you can save this screen and this configuration is done so I, now you can say that this is the final configuration done so once this configuration is done now we can move for the testing of things how and where the testing can be done so let's move on to the PP pop and presentation now we'll be doing the unit testing where first we will be defining a posting of vendor invoice and we'll see how the invoice in the invoice the taxes are calculated then we'll look after one for the customer invoice as well that how taxes is calculated on sales so let's let's move to post a vendor invoice moving on to the SAP screen for a vendor invoice now the transaction code is FB60 what I will be doing is selecting the vendor first with F4 so the vendor is this double click and select it you can select the invoice date so suppose I take the invoice date as of 11 now you can put the amount suppose I take hundred dollars only not much for easy calculation I take the reference that is the bill number over here if you want you can put the text or the narration over here and then I will be taking up a GL account suppose I take four uh, or you can select from this particular as well so basically I am putting the I am posting the invoice so the entry should be inventory should be debited or the purchase account should be debited and the vendor should be credited so selecting the purchase account over here and putting the amount as hundred dollars now the most important part is here you need to take the text code you can see this is the text code so what text I want to assign you can go and you can 
scroll down what are the different text codes in the system and we just created v8 so we'll do the posting with v8 right now v8 is over here next you need to do is you need to go further on the screen ahead and you need to assign the business area so the business area is there so once you have filled all these details now you need to so you also need to take the jurisdiction code over here as well very next to the text code so you can go again and you can search the jurisdiction code which you need to take against v8 the state is tx so there is only one which we have created but you can create multiple of different text jurisdiction and you can do and calculate on different text jurisdictions how the taxes are done so this is how you're done enter on the screen so it says first create this okay there's a small so we have taken the text jurisdiction code over here now we can enter on the screen and as you enter you can see the the screen is now uh, all the gray options have moved out so now you need to do is you need to click on this select this calculate text box so once you collect you you check this or tick mark this calculate text or select this calculate text the system calculate the percentage of text on the invoice amount so let's select this and now as you select you can see the amount has changed over here earlier it was zero so let's again untick this and you can see it's zero now so as you select the calculate text the system internally calculate the taxes so 8% we took v8 v8 is 8% of the text to be calculated on the invoice so 8% of 100 comes out to be eight dollars so now how would be moving up is you need to take this amount off enter on the screen and you can see the systems okay the system shows you over here that now the billing will be for hundred and eight dollars not hundred because normally when you purchase and the hundred is the amount of the goods and then the input tax is added on that so it always becomes the base amount plus the tax is equal to the total amount so that is what is over here now you can you have taken this amount from over here to here enter and you can see it is now sorry it's screen so. So now you can see there is no error as of now. Now the screen is green over here and it should be green. If it is green, that means everything is fine and we can proceed. So this is how we'll be selecting these things and now you can go to simulate so as to look how the entry will be reflected. So simulating the screen, you can see the accounting entry generated is on the screen as a preview. The vendor is credited with $108 whereas the actual purchases is of $100 whereas the taxes on that is $8 and even the tax code is reflected to you over here that is V8 is the tax code on which the on the basis of which the tax is calculated so if you want if you feel that the accounting entry is very much correct then only you can go and you can click on this button so as to post the transaction so now I can click on to this this button and your transaction will get posted with generating a document number on the footer so a document number is generated 1900002 if you want to see this document you can again go to the document over here and you can go to display and this particular document will be reflected to you as a display document so you can see the entries are over here they are now over here three line items the first line item second line item third line item 
even you can see the company code is there posting key is there then the description GL account amount currency text code is also there for you so this is how it works if there could have been any CO involved then you could have find the cost center or the order or the profit center as well and the billing document number comes from the ST module if this particular document would have posted by the sales and distribution module 10 so this is how it works even if you want you can go to this FBL 1N and you can have a vendor line item display as well so the vendor over here is this you can copy this it's NFBL 1N so this is how it's been done now we can go to FBL slash N FBL 1N enter and now you can select the vendor the company code is this open item as on date is 12th that is as on date if you want to put some another date till, till which you want to see these open items you can even edit the date and can change and accordingly you can run the report as well so going and executing this report you can see the line items over here which are open line items so you can see these are marked as red red means open item over here you can see that the transaction has been posted this was the document we just posted with hundred dollars where the total invoice became hundred and eight dollars so you can again select this go over here and you can check the document so that is it and as of now the vendor ledger is concerned as of now in the vendor there are two open items there that means these are the two invoices for which the payment is pending from the company so this is how the text code the input text code works now moving up to the output text code for output text code will be making a sales for which we will be booking a customer invoice and we'll see how the output text is calculated so moving to the screen next is slash n fb 7070 for customer invoice now over here you need to select the customer so we'll go and we'll take the customer from over here mind it i have taken only one customer or a vendor i have created and i am all doing the testing on that but you are supposed to create multiple vendors multiple customers multiple ledgers and you need to do all practice on different different customers vendors and things so as to have a more and more better understanding and knowledge about the system so selecting the customer over here now you can select the invoice date as well suppose I take the invoice date of 10th and the posting date also of 10th now I will be putting an invoice of suppose uh, $3,000 you can put the invoice over here invoice date you can even put the text as you want and now over here I am making a customer invoice basically means I am making a sales against that I am booking an invoice against the customer so I will be moving over here to select this GL which will be credited from for the customer invoice so now we will be crediting the sales account because when you book a customer invoice the customer gets debited and the sales account gets credited or the revenue accounts get credited so sales account has been selected and now putting up the amount now the next thing comes up is the tax code so over here you need to select the tax code so the tax code over here now is let's see the list of tax codes and I need to take the tax code that is A5 which I have just created a while back next you need to select the tax jurisdiction code so as of now again there is only one jurisdiction code you are supposed to create couple of more tax jurisdiction codes and you should test in them next you need to 
move with the help of the tab and you can select the business area so once you've selected the business area now enter so now I can go and select this calculate text as you will select you can see the box over here is changed because 5% A5 was the text code and A5 where the percentage was 5 so 5% 5 of $3000 is $150 so it's calculated over here that means the actual sale I am making is of $3000 plus there should be a tax of $150 so I need to change this amount of the invoice the total invoice amount the total invoice amount now will become 3150 whereas the actual sale is of 3000 so the tax which is calculated is on this this amount that is 3000 and the net um, total amount comes out to be 3150 so this is how you need to do enter and you can see it will become green so it became green because I have transferred the amount from there to here and now the balance will become okay so once this has been done now we can go to simulate and as you simulate you can see the transaction the customer is debited with three one five zero dollars whereas the sales is three thousand dollars and the total sales tax comes out to be one fifty dollars so this is how you need to take the tax codes and has to be taken with the transactions and accordingly you can book the taxes now I can go over here and you can post the transaction so as you post it you can see the document has been generated over here now suppose I want to see again the customer ledger so to have a look of the customer ledger you need to go to the transaction code FBL 5N L 5N so as you execute this you need to select the customer and now I am again running only for the open items so as you select the open item is executed you can see there is only one line item as of now that is the one we just posted so that is 3150 now in this screen if you want to see what is the text code used so even that you can go to this change layout and you can select those things so if you move over here now you can take various things from this particular screen like the business area can be taken on the screen on the main screen then next I could take up is you need the posting date so you can select the posting date over here as well the next you can take up is the reference that is the bill number can be displayed to you on a screen and next the tax code so all these things you can take from the right side to the left with the screen and it all taken up on this side so once after that you need to copy or enter over here so once that you can see these these things have been taken up over here so the posting date has been reflected 10 11 the reference number that is the bill number invoice number is over here and the tax code used for this invoice posting is A5 so for segregation of different line items on the basis of taxes these particular columns becomes important so this is how you need to work these are how you would be posting transactions for input and output taxes now there are certain reports which you should know like one is how many taxes are there as of now how many tax codes are there in the particular system how will I come to know about it so for deciding to look after how many tax codes are are already in the screen in the system you need to go to slash n and you need to take this report s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero one two three six five enter so as you enter you see there is no company code because tax is related with the country so you need to assign the country over here 
US and then you need to take next is the chart of account so that we can see that what are those text codes which are actually relevant for my chart of account and my company code so for that I will be taking up my chart of account that is 1000 once you took this you can execute over here with this report so you can click on to the execute now as I executed you can see the the report generated is there are these number of text codes and the text code types are A and V. A represent the output text and V represent the input text and the description of the text codes are also reflected that V8 is for 8% taxes then A5 is for 5% I1 is for 6% so all the details related to these text codes have been reflected on the report so it can be helpful for you and such reports are always asked in the business so this is you need to know now the next report is tax return for USA now as I said tax return basically means how much taxes you have paid and how much taxes you have taken or collected from from the sale of goods so it basically means the net of output and input and on the basis of that you decide how much taxes you are supposed to pay to the government so for that the transaction code is again s underscore alr underscore 870122394 so i will be executing this report over here as you can see s underscore alr underscore 870 one two three nine four enter so in this screen you can see record of use and sales taxes you need to put the company code because company code is taken as a legal entity for the country and on the basis of that only the taxes and are filed and all the returns are filed so we need to take the company code one two zero zero then you need to take the fiscal year for which you are running this particular tax code report and if you have a particular posting date like if you want to uh, pay the taxes as per the monthly basis or a quarterly basis you can put the date range over here and accordingly you can run that report now the next things comes out to be jurisdiction and the tax code so if you want further selections like uh, uh, selecting the taxes the record of taxes as per the jurisdiction wise or as per the tax code wise you can even select those things over here and you can run this report on the basis of that so over here if I take the jurisdicts and you can see there are so many jurisdictions over here but for your country what is relevant you need to have a look so for my company only this is needed so as of now I will not be selecting any text jurisdiction or the text code but you can have multiple text jurisdiction you can create multiple text codes with them and you can do n number of different postings with them and then you can run this report and you can see how the report reflects the data to you so for example I am right now running only with this much of information so now executing the report and you can see the report has been executed and it says that Xerox LLC which is a customer has got 150 as a tax the next is TCS again 53 as a vendor he is a vendor then these are the different details which are reflected to you and this comes out to be helpful when the returns are filed so you can see that tax jurisdiction TXU that is the jurisdiction created by us the net base is this and the net taxes is 33855 so this is how the report runs and you need to understand this report well so this is how all about the taxes creating of tax input and output the same thing you can do you can create different tax codes with different percentages do different transactions run these reports try to understand this how it works this is what is more important and this comes to you only when you will be doing more and more transactions in the system so thank you till the next session we'll see you then bye bye